Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, episode 28 with our silo challenge. And last time we left off, we had traveled up here real quick, decided to hit this mansion, and we got some pretty good weapons from it, so I'm pretty happy. Now, it is 5.03 a.m. It's going to start getting daylight here, so I think we were going to head back down this way. We do have some diesel fuel on us. We want to eventually make it back over to our, our vehicle over here. Our APC. So that might be what we do. We at least get the diesel fuel there. We've got a working truck uh, down here at the large power substation. That'll get us there. I think we should go ahead though. And maybe hit up this house. Since it's about to be daylight. And we could get some sleep there while we wait. Well, as we wait um, for nighttime to fall again. Although I do like driving the vehicles during the day, so maybe we should go grab the truck. You know what? That's a good idea, actually. And we don't seem to be very tired. So I say we go ahead and grab the truck since I like driving the vehicles during the day. And then we'll head to... We'll head to our APC. We've got a little ways to go. Maybe we'll run into something out here. Now, there was some bionics I did want to pick up, and I could probably get them now. No. Okay, we've got a little bit of metal wreckage here. An army helmet, if I could pick it up. That'd be nice. It wouldn't hurt to have another one. I don't have a shovel, so I can't dig through this stuff, unfortunately. And I don't really see anything else useful except for the army helmet. It's a big crash site, though. Cool. Can I pick up the army helmet, then? I'd have to drop some stuff. I... Well, I'll make a note. When I'll come back at some point. When I get shovels, I'll hit up all these areas. Good place sometimes to get some good uh, crafting supplies and even some good military supplies and whatnot if you dig it if you dig up the wreckage. Here comes daytime. We're still not tired, which is good. We got an engine right here. What kind of engine? Have I already looked at this? I don't think so. That's, actually, I do think I did look at that one. I think I recognize it. All right, so here's that working truck. Let's go ahead and get in. Okay, it's dead. So was that not, was it this the truck then? I guess it was this truck. Okay, it was this truck. All right, let's go ahead and do our thing. Ah, Crap, keep hitting the wrong key. Where are we going? So we're going to take this truck up through this field area. And over to this road past the mansion. We do got to come back here at some point to pick up those. Actually, I can grab them right now with the truck. So why don't we go do that? We can go grab up those bionics real quick. Because those will be pretty useful to have. Power storage. We want as much of that as we can get. We've already grabbed the other power storage, correct? No, did I not grab anything? So was this guy a power storage? There should be two power storage. Yeah, enhanced memory bank. I'm not worried about two power storage in the joint torsion ratchet which is going to give us power so then if we can find some more we could mess around with that a little bit which i think is a good idea so let me drop some stuff off i know weighs a lot both books are pretty heavy and the gallon jugs of diesel that should give us enough space so power storage we said there's nothing here okay and power storage joint torsion 
And we can go ahead and probably eat real quick. Some energy cola will keep us awake as we drive. And we'll drop off anything we don't need. All right. So we've got all that stuff in there. We've got all of the CBM. So we are ready to go. Ready to hit the road. And by hit the road, I mean we're going to go across this field. Because I'm not too concerned about these shrubs or anything. You gotta give me, bear with me for a second. I just gotta move my mic a little bit. There we go. Could grab the army helmet right now. We'll come back. We'll come back for it. Ooh, wait. Hold on. I want to check this out. Okay, let's deal with this. Okay, those two are fighting, so I'm good with that. Let them do their thing, and we can see what we've got here. Heroin. Okay, heroin can be pretty risky. But there might be some useful stuff. I'm looking, I'm hoping for a gun. I do know that I could tab all of this, but I don't like doing that, so I never do do it. Um, good warmth encumbrance to fit bash. Yeah, we can grab that. I don't know if I'm going to wear it. Okay. So unfortunately nothing really. Come on. Oh, he dropped a wrench. I don't think we have a wrench. I actually think I need a wrench. Oh, wow. Huh. Okay. Let's go drop off our CBM so we can come grab this stuff. Oh, feral hunter. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and butcher these two real quick so we don't have any issues. Okay, yeah, definitely that. That's insane. All the military stuff I'm not as worried about. The wrench we want. What is this? A tiny glass vial filled with advanced fast healing chemicals, which can only be activated by a RivTech jet injector device. A label on the side warns against using more than two doses per hour. Okay, I don't... Let's see. Fast healing can only be activated by a RivTech jet injector device. So, I don't have the device, I guess, so I can't use it if I'm understanding correctly. But it's... I'm definitely going to grab it. Because I think there's, I think there's some use there. Oh, what the heck? What? How's the battery dead? Did I leave the headlights on? Oh, what the heck? I don't have enough space to carry all this stuff now. Well, how did I leave the freaking batteries on? Damn it. It doesn't even make any sense. I, mu um, or I, I must have left the headlights on, but I, I don't even think the headlights... I never even remember turning them on. Oh, what do I drop? What do I drop? Um, I could just come back. Grab the diesel, come back. I plan on coming back this way anyways. At some point. Clothing store. Fast food. I, I know I could make room, but. Well, let's at least get the diesel. 
We can drop one of these. I want to carry one of them with me just in case, though. Okay, we've got the diesel. Anything else I should grab? I can't anyways. Except the books. Alright, let's make a note. We'll be back. Boy, this is turning into quite the mission. Well, we can, f we can head out behind foot then. It might take us a little bit longer now to get back to our APC. Which is not something I'm looking forward to. We'll definitely take some aspirin, calcium, multivitamin. Let's burn up some of this chewing gum. Shocker zombie. Okay, he's fighting a moose. They're both killing each other. Let's just keep it that way. The moose dies. Okay, so the shocker zombie won, but not by much. I'm guessing that was a horde that spawned in, probably. Um, we got to get around this swamp and forest, so we'll start heading north now. The only thing I can hope at this point is that maybe we find something useful out here, like a uh, a uh, maybe some crates or something with some cool stuff in it. But I don't know. I don't think so. It's not looking too promising. Okay, swimmer zombie. Just gonna keep moving. They can't keep up anyways. Dragonfly trying to give me some trouble. There. Okay, so this road goes up. We got a grocery store right there. That's pretty useful. Could go grab a grocery cart, but there's really no point in grabbing that and heading all the way back. So we're just gonna head through this way. Okay, we know we got a spider somewhere here. I see it. Got a bunch of other stuff. No zombies so far, but traveling this much open road, we do need to be mindful of potential turrets in the area. That can always be a problem. Looks like we have a giant battle of the of nature down here. So we'll just try to go past and hope we get ignored. There we go. Okay, we've got something going on over here. A dermatic. A mutated wasp nearly the size of a cat with a barbed ovipositor extruding from the abdomen. So I've never seen that before. Probably really dangerous. Probably not something I want to be near. This, okay, so we got a whole battle going on right over in this area between creatures, dogs, and mutated wasps um okay how do i get around probably going this way um to be honest with you maybe not okay the the dermatics hitting the dogs what's it doing okay severely damaging them very quickly the spiders aren't helping i'm sure We can probably head south and be okay. I don't like the fact that there's a spider right there, but he does seem to be... He does seem to be... Fighting something. What's the Dermatic fighting now? A giant leaping spider? Okay, he's fighting the dogs and the spiders. Okay, we're gonna head south. Swamp's kind of dangerous, but we're gonna do it. The heck is that? A giant centipede. Okay. Okay, he killed the spider. As is probably fitting for a centipede. We're gonna make it pass, just Bear with me. This is this is pretty ugly, okay? What do we got here? It looks like we've got something on the map. Huh. <laughs> A roadside food car. We could check it out, but this is this is pretty ugly off in this area. We've got zombies and everything fighting each other. Oh, there's a nice looking vehicle though. Spiders and dragonflies fighting. Boy. Oh, maybe we'll find a working vehicle here. Ah, yes, right here. 
What is it? Um, no, it's got a wheel that's damaged, so it's not drivable, I don't think. We could try. No, all the wheels are damaged. It ain't going anywhere. What kind of vehicle is this? A technical. I don't know what that it means. Oh, crap. That spider. Okay, he's running off. Oh, crap. He's trying to fight me. Did he... I don't want him to poison me or anything. What kind of... Oh, he's a jumping spider, so he's not... Shouldn't be poisonous. Just hard to hit. Come on. All right. Oh, I unloaded that, by the way. 308 Winchester. Okay. Starts up, but I don't think it's going to drive. Yeah. But... That doesn't mean I couldn't technically shoot the weapon if I wanted to load this. We could shoot it just for fun. Let's see. Oh, I guess I ran the battery dead. Well, as fun as it lasted. What do we got here? Anything of use? Security van. Has some diesel. We could pump that diesel out. Some gold that does us no good, but at least we've got some diesel here. Just definitely go ahead and siphon uh, siphon that out. We'll pour it into. We've got a gallon jug with some diesel in it. We can siphon the rest out. Pour it into the empty gallon jug. Um, I've got plastic bottles. I guess I could fill with a little bit that's in there. I've got plenty of diesel fuel now, at least. Or a good amount anyways. We can check the food cart stand. Maybe there'll be more diesel fuel. What is this? Automatic street sweeper. Okay, cool. Huh. Lighter, marble, pipe, flyer, joint roach, heavy sticks, survivor's note, wheat seed, Small plastic bottle, wrappers, cardboard. Somebody was here at some point or something. Or a survivor died here. Tomato seed, razor blade, open tin cam, marble. Can I read the survivor note? I should be able to. I thought you could. Where is it? I must not have picked it up. No. Oh, it says right there. Don't, don't keep your goddamn casings. They'll just weigh you down. All right. Grab the lighter, pipe we don't need, none of this, no heavy sticks, glass bottle, wheat seed, yeah, we'll take the seeds. I might, I might do something with these seeds. I might plant some seeds somewhere. Weight's a little up there, but we can get rid of that real quick by eating and drinking. Well, I didn't re get rid of all of it, but it probably helped a little bit. I could drop the casings. They don't weigh you down hardly at all, actually. Um, solder. We could drop the solder. Um, drop the copper wire. Why do I have that? I don't need that. Oh, a pair of metal tongs. We're going to grab those. They're really useful for crafting. Is there nothing... Oh, okay, there we go. I was going to say, is there nothing in... Oh, there is nothing in here. How useless. 
Well, at least the stuff we found outside was better than that. Wow, it's really raining now. What kind of vehicle is that? What is this? A bubble car. That's kind of cool, actually. Completely worthless, but cool nonetheless. Okay, so that's that food cart there. I guess we'll head down to the next one. Still a ton of animals fighting each other, although we're getting soaked right now. This is a pretty bad storm. Well, let's get down to the other food cart and we can hold up there. Till the storm passes. Huge boomer. Okay, what is this? A fire truck? It has gasoline. It's got a battery. Wheels are gone, though. Huge boomer. I'm not sure if I should be concerned. Um, we're going to fight him and see what happens. You were covered in bile. You're covered in a glowing goo. Well, that's not good. I'm going to assume he, I'm a little radiated now or something. Or mutating. Let me, just in case it is radiation, this is glowing goo. I can take some, I can take an iodide tablet that might help if that's what that was. We're glowing. Yeah, that's probably what that is, is something to do with radiation. We might, you are covered in glowing goo. Okay, let's wait. We might mutate or something. Who knows? I've never had that. I've never seen that. So, okay, we're still glowing. Okay, what do we got in here though? Some bandage, some morphine, that's a good find. How's this ambulance condition wise? It's got gasoline and battery. How's this car? Lots of gas or gasoline and battery. No wheels on this one though. The ambulance got wheels? It does not. Okay, well, all, so we got like all these vehicles full of Full of freaking gas and electricity, but no wheels. And these food areas, for the most part, pretty much suck. Yeah, what a waste. Um, I guess we'll call it here since we're out of time. Mark both of these explored. Looks like we got a crater up here. Okay, so that'll be radioactive. Um, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. We can jump, drop uh, down through the field, I think. That's what we'll do. We'll come down through the field. We'll hit this road here and we'll head over and grab up our APC and load her up. Then we may head this way depending on what sort of engines. I think this has a gasoline engine I could actually operate. Um, is it? It's faulty, but 6.5 liter V8 is better than nothing. To actually remove the engine, what do I need, though? Um... One tool of lifting one or more mechanics to remove the attached parts first. So we'd have to take the truck alternator off. But other than that, we could we could remove this and use it. I think we'll do that. So I think we'll drive our APC back up this way. Remove that engine. We'll throw that in our APC so we can operate gasoline. And then we can empty all these vehicles gasoline out because there's a lot of gasoline here. And we can use it. There's gasoline on the ground here, so I'm guessing that's leaked gasoline everywhere, so the tank's busted. But that's still got a lot of gasoline in it. All right, cool. So we're going to leave it off here uh, inside this area here. We'll probably stay here for the night or maybe, yeah, we'll probably stay here. Not for the night, but we'll stay here until it stops raining. So thank you guys for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.